It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each other? They no, Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. You got it. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right, Joni. You got it. Yes, thank you all for staying up with us for Sports Final Overtime. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that alligator clip by now over and over again, and you're thinking, why would I be holding a gator? You know, Mike Greenwell wasn't available. You know, it's good to think, mix things up once in a while anyway. We've had Mike and Joni from Reptile Rainforest shows before. They care for hundreds of exotic animals and use them for educational purposes. Uh, here's a shot of me holding Fred, the alligator, back in 2013. Now, Fred, he was cool. He didn't flip out. We were buddies. But there was much more to this year's animal segment than our own new crazy gator. Check it out. What are we going to start with here? That. What is that? That is Because I'm not getting that close <laughs> to that. That is a rose hair tarantula. Um, so this is from South America in the rainforest. And just one of the, the many, many spiders or tarantulas from uh, the rainforest in the dry areas of South America. So very beautiful. This is a female. I, I believe her name is Esmeralda. I can't remember. So when you say and this is her fang, this came. <laughs> this is just. Oh, stop. Stop. All right. So when you say tarantula, you're talking poisonous spider. Venomous. Oh. Poisonous is to something. To me, that's the same thing. Yeah, but think about chicken noodle soup. Can it kill you? No, no. Not, Not unless you're allergic. allergic if you're allergic to bees, there might be some anaphylactic shock. That could kill you. But no, it's not going to just out and out. If it bit you and the venom went in, you're going to get some swelling. It'd be like a bee sting. Okay. Um, a, a wasp sting, actually, and because I've been stung by her, or bitten by her before. So can you pick her up? And... I could, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, no, I'll do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey, sweetie, come on. Now, in, in the areas where you'll find this uh, tarantula, they actually have tarantulas the size of a dinner plate. A bird that big? Spider, uh, tarantula shell. So she's rather medium-sized tarantula. <clears throat> wow. She doesn't really want to come. Well, see, with your jump, I'm not standing so close. Yeah. Well, I'm That's not a spider. Who's going to make Ask you me jump? about snakes. I'm not well, a we'll spider person. We'll get to the snakes in just come a second. All right, but... here we go. Come on, sweetie. Here we go. Got it? Go. Yeah. Well, now, what is this? Well, this... It's kind of a cool scorpion. This I don't is from, think I like this at all. Here you go. This is not very <laughs> venomous. Now, the... Not very venomous. Well, it's, you're venomous or you're not venomous. Well... Oh, don't touch it. The, it's re all relative, you know? So this guy doesn't have... It has a stinger on the end of its tail, and it's got these big claws, these pedipalps. It's and quick. It's, it's an olive-keeled... Uh, scorpion. Uh, scorpion from... Flat rock scorpion from South... Uh, from I'm sorry, from Africa, and very beautiful little creature, and you see how big it is. So this scorpion um, actually came from Africa? Well, I don't think this one did. Okay. This is probably born here in the United States. But they do have but them in they Africa, are. Yeah, but yes. this is where they are native to. And you can see he has a very small tail, a very right. small stinger there, and then he has great big claws. If you have big claws, usually you're less venomous. The more venomous scorpions have these Small really ones. thin teeny claws. Pinchers. Teeny pinchers. Very, very, very bad. Scorpion, so, okay. Yeah. What and is then, that? Oh, that's a rattlesnake. Yeah. No, that's no, it's not, not a rattlesnake. rattlesnake. <laughs> so this is tulip. Tulip. And if you just no, put, your hand, put your hands, put your arms out. No, 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 we're good. It's okay. Put your arms out. Put what arms out? That, those arms. Just those like are yours. that. Yep. Yep. Remember when you played football? How? How? You yeah, okay? Uh huh. All right. So this tulip? is Don't get, a common no. boa constrictor. Okay. And uh, she's a very beautiful animal. Uh -huh. Was a rescued animal. She's, she's in heavy our is what she is. She's in our refuge, and she ed goes out and educates kids um, about the rainforest and about her and about her habitats and yeah, things like that. I'll keep her head over here. I appreciate that. And all she's doing with her <laughs> tongue is sticking that beautiful tongue out, and she's smelling. She has two holes in the roof of her mouth called Jacobson organs, and that's how she smells. So she's smelling with those organs. Okay. Now. And. You know, she's she's just a gorgeous, gorgeous creature. How old? Um, this animal we don't know, but I would estimate between five and seven years old. All of these animals that come to us are seizures or right. confiscations that we use in our educational programming, so they receive a second lease Open on life. Open your hand, she won't pull away. Awesome. And we now have over 600 at our new sanctuary, so uh, we're very excited to be able to bring them out and educate the public about them. So that's a rattlesnake. So, th yes. yeah, this is a western diamondback rattlesnake. And many years ago, this actually came out of a defunct hotel along with a timber rattlesnake um, in Bourne. Um, I, we just got a call. There was nobody in the hotel. It was a, a squatter, apparently, and these were in an aquarium there, believe it or not. 
So we do get a lot of calls like that. But, you know, with people like us, and the state has good regulations, and, and we are able to keep animals, you know, in captivity, um, but you really need to have specialized training to handle an animal like this. You notice that I'm not getting very close to it. Right. And I'm standing from its, its strike distances about one third of its body at this point. If it was up against a wall <laughs> here, Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up against a wall, it could strike about half of its body length, maybe a little bit more. Now, are there rattlesnakes around New England? We do have rattlesnakes, and you've heard all the hubbub about right. Rattlesnake Island and this and that out in the Quabbin. But, you know, these are a beneficial animal here in New England. They do do a really good service for us. They eat rats and mice. They do have their place as a predator in our environment, just like a hawk, just like an eagle. Just like a, you know, any just other... Just like a bear. It, right. Just and like a bear. It but has it... its place. But people have these huge, huge phobias against animals like this. Yeah, and they're really, you know, this animal is not going to hurt anyone. Can you as make... Well, as long as you're not messing with it. If you, you start to mess with it, it certainly will. Do you have an alligator? We do. We actually have both, alligator and crocodile with Okay, us. so you got to tell me the difference so between the... I can do that. That's easy. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, well, So this... this, this. This is an American alligator, and yes, I have taped his face for your safety. I appreciate that. Okay, so what I want you to do with him what? is drop the stick. Oh, yeah, give me the stick. Give Just me the throw stick. it away. That thing is stick. breathing heavy. Okay. Yep, he's, he's breathing heavy. Under his neck, <laughs> under his tail, if he pees on you, See, that's not it's, just don't, don't even... it's just Gatorade. It's just Gatorade. It's just Gatorade. Okay. It's all right. All right, so that is a American alligator. Notice, he has a very wide, broad skull. He is rounded. Is that okay? scotch tape? It, you give me an alligator scotch it, tape? I got it off your desk. No, that's like a whole alligator. Wait, right, yes. No, wrong. Have, no, no, they have no opening pressure. All their pressure's that's coming Scott's down. That's scotch tape. Right, I'll take it off. Here. No, no, you ain't gonna take it off. <laughs> He's looking at me like... <clears throat> yeah, this See, one now, what's that? Oh. Now, this one is a Nile crocodile that was found wandering down a street in Oceanside, New Jersey. Which one's more dangerous? The crocodile. Well, this one's untaped. But it's still more dangerous. So come a little closer. It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each do they, No, hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. You got him. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right, Joni, you got it. <laughs> See that? Alligator wrestling. Oh, yeah. How's your wrist? <laughs> I'm okay, buddy. You pressure. haven't had that workout <laughs> since... Uh... Hold him okay. tight. I was. That thing is strong. <laughs> I got the Joey, right? I'm fine. That tape, see the scotch tape didn't... Oh, all right. It helped. It yeah, helped. Did. I'm sorry. All right, so... Fine uh, job. Here's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. That alligator has that wide, broad skull. Yeah. This crocodile is a Nile crocodile that was found wandering down a street in Oceanside, New Jersey. Yeah. Has a very slender, very triangular nose. That's the major difference. There are about 13 or 14 different species of crocodiles in yeah. the world, depending on which scientist you talk to on My which heart's day. pumping right now. I see that. And it, it, it's actually come right out of the back of your back there. And alligators, there's only two species of alligators, American and Chinese. Okay. Really? So you wanted a wild show. I you did. Asked I, for, I did. You, I know, you know, those, they're so powerful. They're you, extremely powerful and very squiggly and, and hard to hold on still, to. The alligator's still mad about the decision with Brady. So <laughs> well, I, that's I can't, it. Say I that's know. it. You know, there's a lot of us up here that are mad, and he's a, a, conver a convert. So. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. So, all right. Wow. All right. We have a couple other animals. You want to see them? Yes. You want to say right. bye to your friend? Yeah, see ya. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're I gotta we're good. Box. That's okay. This is very neat. This is not a crocodile. No. Uh, this is, is in the same family as Komodo dragon. Komodo so dragon. So her name is Kaya. And Kaya. Kaya was actually in a drug bust in Middletown, Connecticut. Really? Yeah, somebody had her as a pet. And it isn't lawful to own them down there. And you can't own them here in Massachusetts either without a license. Look at this is a fan. So, this is yeah, I know. Isn't she cool? Isn't she beautiful? She's just beautiful. So she's a very beautiful lizard from Southeast Asia. They live in the mangrove swamps out there. And you're not going to climb on top of my face, okay? We're going to put you right here. There you go. There you go, sweetie. Hang on to that, okay? Wow. So this is one of the largest lizards in the world when it's full grown. The Komodo dragon, of course, is the heaviest and, and one of the longest. This is also one of the longest. This animal could reach lengths of seven or eight feet when it's full is grown. Is that right? Yep. You, can and you put him down on the ground? I can put him on the ground. Oh, She'll probably be much better on the ground. Here we go, sweetie. Here we go. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now, she may go to the bathroom, so uh, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll be prepared for that.
And you'll notice that she has these big long claws for climbing the mangrove roots and things like that where she lives in her environment. They do live in salt water and fresh water. Uh -huh. um, they don't have any glands to get rid of the, fresh, the salt water, so they do have to go into fresh water. Um, but they, you will find them in those saltwater marshes and things like that. They're from the Philippines. Uh, to Thailand, to Malaysia, to Indonesia. Let me ask you this, how sure. long do they live for? This animal, an alligator can live 60 to 90 years. 60 to 90 years, okay. Right. This animal, possibly 30, 40, maybe a little more. How old is this one? Have no idea. Again, okay. she was an adult two years ago when she was taken, it was actually last year, when she was taken out of that house in a Middletown, Connecticut. So she's, uh, uh, she's an adult. I can't tell you how old she is. Okay. <laughs> Lizards <laughs> really much. have three eyes. So if you look, he has one, two. two. She has one, the third two. one? Right there. That On white the top spot. of his head? Can you see it? That white spot in the middle of her eye right there. That's an eye? Her head. That is an eye in the middle of her head. That is a, called a pineal eye. So what that does is it senses light. She can tell whether it's spring, summer, winter, and fall. And she actually just predicted when the kids were going to go back to school. <laughs> That is amazing. Not soon Absolutely. enough for most parents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How fast can this animal go? If she wanted to, she could get across that floor faster than we could even react to her. Really? So she'd just take off. But we'd catch her. But, but uh, eventually. Would, but Yeah, we're going to catch her, but it's going to not before she reaches the dressing rooms where David is. David, <laughs> David, <laughs> <Wade. laughs> <Sorry, laughs> David. Sorry, David. All right. <laughs> wow. But really, so, uh, a beautiful magnificent animal. Can you get him to move just a little bit? Sure. We'll see if sure. we can get her to move. Can you move for me? Come on. She may go quick. Go. Come on. Yeah, she's just going to lay yeah, there. She's tonight. just. She's probably and, not used and again, to the floor, the floor right. is, is intimidating right. because right. it's a it's a tile floor. So if uh, and you she see, was, she's using her tongue yeah. to smell the environment around oh. her. Oh. And she's going to the back. Oh. oh wow! Oh, well, that's that a treat. Okay, yeah. told you that was going to happen. So you guys do a good job. You clean up, bring on the uh, four. We bring everything. The, the Windex that's, and you know, it's just one of the downfalls of working with the animals. Paper tells me. Like it was never here. Yep. It's uh, pretty awesome. Well, we want to clean it up now because it is going to smell really bad. Ooh. Ooh. 11 o'clock news. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> you know what it is. You. What does that <laughs> smell? Ooh. Man. It's a beautiful animal. Thank you so much. Okay. We're very happy to have her. It's unfortunate how we got her, oh, but got we're pleased right. to have her. And all of our animals are receiving a second lease on life. Um, and are helping to um, be great ambassadors for their species. Um, so we've been very fortunate that way. That's All right, great. this is uh, amazing. I do have oh. one other animal. You have one more? You want to see it? Sure. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You have time? I do. Okay. Okay, we'll good. Time. All right. Excellent. I don't know what yeah. it is. He's going to surprise us. Okay. We'll wrap it up after this. Oh, this is a cool animal. You'll like this. This is a. What is that? This animal is from the deserts. So this is from, well, you know, our one of our presidential candidates was there today, in Mexico. Mexico. Okay. This is from Mexico, and Guatemala. This actually is a Guatemalan animal. Um, this is a beaded lizard, um, and this is a venomous animal. So, okay, it doesn't it have, well, no, 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 come back, no, 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 come no, no, back, come it's back, not like back. the alligator, it's not going to attack you, okay? okay. <laughs> so, it has venom glands, you can see the venom glands on the side of her head, right. but she has no delivery system, so she doesn't have any fangs. So what she would do is, she would bite you, she would hold on very tightly, and she would chew, and that venom would run down into her saliva. Oh, wow. So, it's as potent as a rattlesnake. Okay. You should touch it. But there's only two venomous really lizards in the world. Feel. There's the Gila monster, which uh -huh. this is not, and then the beaded lizard. So awesome. awesome. Very beautiful creatures. So thanks for having us. Hey, thanks, thanks for, for having us. Yeah. Every year I enjoy this. Thank you. I, Sorry you about know. the smell. <laughs> but you guys okay. can't too bad there's not smell a vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if anybody has any questions about these animals, of course they can contact us at Rainforest Reptile Shows. Um, and we'll be glad to answer it. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, rainforestreptileshows.com. That's it. And that's, that's um, great. we're good to go. We are good to go. Thanks, Dave, guys. So we enjoy much having you on every year. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And sorry we horrified I wrestled with an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> you did, and we have it on film to prove it. All right. <laughs> well, thanks again to Mike and Joni from Reptile Rainforest Shows. And one thing's for sure, I'm never ever going to live that alligator moment down. Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky me.